because it's raining so we have some things to do like move our chicks to the coop we have a tree to cut up now you can kind of see it out there across the driveway and there's the tree it just we got up this morning and there it was <laughs> i don't have to trim it away from the driveway now. no hello loudmouth. are graduating to the coop today oh my goodness you're so big to see what that black ostrich cross is gonna look like. You look a little raggedy right now. Let She's growing tail box. feathers, see? My and That's her freshly grown quills. person going and the rest of them start cackling too. Keep them from anything from, from flying, flying in out, or yeah. flying out, yeah. But we can't cut this tree. Why? Why? It's over the driveway. Why would you build a house on the driveway?
it'll be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. some cabbage in Jacob's garden for dinner. Okay. Is that big enough? Because this one here is it's, about uh, ready too. It's our main meal. We're having it with sausage. So what's all over that? Ca uh, cabbage worms. Ooh. Yeah. I've been spraying too. The rain's washed it off. So yeah, I need to re spray it. But you rip the leaves off and it's gone. See, I, this is another thing. I should have been preventative spraying it, but I didn't want to because I really don't like spraying it, but I should have. Yeah, that's all right. Gonna feed us a meal. Yeah, this will be good. I have a beautiful pepper on my pepper plant, and I have two more coming out of my green bell peppers. We're gonna have so many tomatillos. <laughs> Looky there. Oh, nice. Grandma's flock is blooming. Isn't that pretty? We're going to move the paddock tonight because it's past time for them to be out of here. They've ate it down pretty good. These reels that really make it easy to move the paddock. We've got nice step-in posts. They came in finally. Interesting. Stringing up the poly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll do that one there. We'll do this one here. Paddock, and they've got some nice eating in there. At least it's nice and cool out here tonight. It's not terrible. She says, wait a minute, something's different here. <laughs> Having fun. Whoa, there! <laughs> Good job, Summer. Let me get some cabbage and sausage. I'm gonna slice up some sausage and then I'm gonna cut up my cabbage and I'm gonna put it all in my. I can't even think. 
I'm going to put it on my Ninja Foodie and saute it for dinner. Well, fry it. Fry it, saute it, whatever. Hey, can I cut that off? No, I'll cut it. Can I help you? I wouldn't. Let us cook it, okay? Right. I'm going to go with low, medium. And get it going so I can put my sausage in in a minute. Not quite hot enough yet, is it? Yeah. I don't know if this is the right knife for this. Now when you do this and you do a whole head of cabbage, you're going to have a pot full of cabbage, but it will cook down. I promise you it will cook down. All right. Let's stir this up. I'm going to put just a little bit of this complete seasoning in from Badia. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on just a little bit. That's good. Zeke's been anxiously awaiting the sausage. This is my kids' favorite. They love the sausage. I do too. There we go. See, it cooks down quite a bit. There we go. And you've got just enough for our family of five. Okay, that looks pretty dang delicious. Okay, Zeke, you want some cottage cheese? Yeah. Here, I, I, this is yours. It's daddy's. It. And just like that, it's all cleaned up. The wood's been carried up to the furnace, and now we question whether or not we leave this tree here. Because, <laughs> I mean, half of it's missing on that side. And then now we've got that limb. It seems like a really weak tree. They're very weak trees. But also look at all the holes in it. Huh? Look at all the holes that are in the trunk. It's all the way up it. Yep, all the way up it. Oh, wow, yeah. No wonder it's so weak. Yeah, they're weak to begin with. We're thinking about even putting a, a maple tree here. Sugar maple. I don't know what we'll do. We got a nice dandy little wood pile off that tree so that's pretty nice speaking of the wood pile if you want to see how we cut wood for our winter supply watch this video next we'll see you guys next time